Holy moly, what is up, peeps? Hope we're all doing well. Welcome back to the channel. I want you all to know I can't get my hair to come back down to earth, and that is why it looks like this. Some huge Call of Duty League changes and some huge changes for the future of Call of Duty that I don't know if anyone expected for this to be coming out. Apparently, Call of Duty League has been working for the better part of a year with several of the teams out there, if not all of the teams, to announce these changes which are absolutely game-changing for the future of Call of Duty, so let's dive into it. As they say, over the past five seasons, the Call of Duty League and its teams have learned a great deal about the evolving business model of esports and its challenges. We have taken these learnings and together with our CDL teams, made changes to create a stronger, more sustainable league. In the past, the league implemented various solutions to alleviate some of the challenges for teams. These included providing financial relief during COVID-19 to fund player salaries and benefits, pausing franchise fee payments, provide funding for team hosted events, guaranteeing revenue to teams, and creating in-game team bundles. While the Call of Duty League's popularity continues to grow, evident by this past season where we saw the highest viewership in history and record-breaking attendance at our in-person events, we are doubling efforts in the business side to ensure the success and longevity of the CDL. For the better part of a year, we've been working with team owners on a new approach that sets us up for mutual success. And the following has been announced, which is crazy. Outstanding entry fees will be eliminated and any fees previously collected from teams will be returned in full. While we paused collection of these payments years ago, we are permanently removing this obligation while also injecting capital back into the league. And I think, I mean, that sounds but what they're saying, no matter what, you know, you're not gonna have to pay any more the remaining fee that you owed and anything you've already paid is gonna be given back to you, which makes it seem like kind of on paper in a way that getting into the CDL was uh, a lot cheaper, if not free for these teams. So that's a tremendous upside. That seems great. Teams will also earn increased revenue tied to the sale of their in-game merchandise, that being team bundles, as well as champ bundles and also be given larger subsidies to host events. Of course, this past major unfortunately fell through when it comes to hosting it. So now they're gonna give you more money to actually host events, which is awesome. That's a tremendous W. And very lastly, teams will receive a two year minimum guarantee of revenue so they can continue investing into the Call of Duty League with more peace of mind. And all of this, I'm, I'm like, everyone's tweeting about this right now. Everyone has a lot to say. We'll see what pro player reactions and team owner reactions are going to be. But certainly a few people out there wondering, oh, what's the timing of this, right? We have the Hex and Scump supposed lawsuit against Activision and Call of Duty. And then a couple months down the road, these are some great changes that probably a lot of team owners certainly wanted to happen. But how does that impact the ongoing lawsuit, of course, right? Like, does that help Activision's case? Does that mean Hex and Scump applied some sort of pressure to make these changes go through? But in the post itself, they say they've been talking with team owners for the better part of a year. We don't know how long the lawsuit and it's, you know, it's building up how long that's been ongoing. Obviously, there's been issues on both sides. A lot of team owners have discussed their issues with the league, but you know, it's it's hard to deny that does Hex and Scump have something, something to do with this? Is it tied in any way, shape, or form? Maybe we'll learn more about that in the coming days and weeks. I hope so. But at the end of the day, this is a tremendous W. Might I say probably the biggest W Call of Duty League has ever announced, at least on paper. We'll see how this is enacted, especially when they say two years guaranteed of revenue. What does that mean in the fine print? You know, I don't know, right? That doesn't say two years guaranteed of profit, just of revenue. So, but it, everything else, the fee giving given back to the teams, that's huge, right? Those those buy-in prices were inc incredible and, and probably way too large, especially for the fact that these teams couldn't even make money by hosting events. So a larger subsidy there, that's awesome too. I don't know what this means for the future of CDL, when all this will be taking place and actually be put into place. But this seems like some great news for the future of Call of Duty. Now let's see how people react. What do you guys think? Till next time, drink up for me. All right, take care of yourselves. And let's just start buying some CDL spots. Anyone want to go in on one? Uh, that would be a fun experiment to have, especially if it's, if it's free to partake now. Just got to find the money for salaries. So if you guys can help me out, let me know. Till next time, take care of yourselves. We'll see you back here soon.